Alright, what's up people? This is Sif Yorian. Right now we're going to be checking out episode 4 of Vikings. I'm excited, man. I, I get it every week. Every week around this time. I'm <clears throat> Okay, this episode is called All the Prisoners. Super quick kind of recap. Well, I'm not even really going to go with, like too deep into it. Bjorn has gone to try and help Howard Finehair. But there was a trap. Those two people that came and told Bjorn what was going on. I guess that they were working for um, Olaf because they started swimming away and then the trap was sprung. Like I said it last week about I, I think Olaf might be trying to become king of all Norway and you know he's took over Howard Finer's kingdom. If he can take out Bjorn now he's going to take over Kattegat. You know he's going to try and take over completely. And I don't really like Olaf. There's something about him like like his dialogue is, is, is so deep. He, he, it's like he says so much but he's not really saying anything. Like, you get what I'm saying? It's, I don't know. As far as Lagatha and the whole settlement there that's kind of going on, the little village, they got attacked. Lagatha says that they're going to be coming back again, so they're going to, like, get ready and everything. There's some setup there with the kids. You know, going by some of the comments from last week's video, I think a lot of you kind of uh, feel the exact same way, that there's some setup with the kids. The uh, boy here took that knife and everything. And, and the whole, like, overarching kind of setup that Bjorn has made a mistake by letting these people go. And it could come back onto him at, like, a later date. I think it might be his son dying. And maybe his mother dying at some point. But then again, Lagatha was meant to die by a son of Ragnar. So, if Lagatha dies now by the bandits, you could say that she actually died because of Bjorn's choice. You, like, you see what I'm saying? So... But then there's the whole thing about Rolo might be Bjorn's father. So, I don't know. I can't see Lagatha dying yet. But I could definitely see something happening with the kids. Because like I said, they've been kind of setting that up now. As far as back in Kattegat, um, Fitzuk. Fitzuk needs to get his head clear. He really, really does. Like he's having visions and everything. I think if he really wants to get revenge on Ivor, then he needs to kind of get into that frame of mind of getting revenge, you know what I mean, stop drinking, start fucking getting focused, and, and start sorting himself out, you know, like, it is true, like, each one of Ragnar's sons, they have all of his good qualities, but yet they also have his bad, and, and we've seen how, how, how Ragnar got fucked over by drugs and everything, and Ragnar, like, after his loss against Rolo in, in Paris, he went and disappeared for, like, 10 years or something, so, um, I just hate seeing Fix look so fucked up and, and I know it's going to take a while for him to get his head straight but he hasn't got the time. He needs to, you know, he needs to sort it now. Unless we have a bit of a time jump. But being so close to, to like the end of the season, I, I can't see that happening. But there was talk about um, setting up trade deals, going down the Silk Road with England and France. So I think that might be the kind of plot device to go back to those areas and, and 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 go back to some of those characters and see what's going on there. What I'm I'm actually quite looking forward to, I really want to go back to England and see what's going on with um, Alfred and everything. And also uh, Rolo, like Rolo's kids now must be kind of teenagers, right? Well, they could be teenagers because I'm thinking back when when Bjorn and, and, and Floki and everyone wanted passage through um, like the Frankier like rivers and stuff, they asked Rolo if they could go by and we saw the kids. But I don't know, maybe there's some opportunity there for like Rolo's children, like, like, like maybe his firstborn son to kind of come into the show a bit more. Um, <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm, I'm just wrapping on. I'm just eager to get into this episode. So episode four, All the Prisoners. Whew, let's do this, man. Do you know who you are? I don't understand. Everything here belongs to you. In this world? <laughs> oh, yeah. In this whole town. Kiev. And Novgorod too. And everything in the whole of Rus. The land, the sky. The villages, the town, the people. It's all yours. This is why he's been befriending the kids so much. I'm happy that we can talk. Because now I can explain things to you. I can explain how you've been betrayed. Wow. Oleg is not the god. Oleg is nothing but 
not you. You are everything. And everything here belongs to you. Remember that. Wow. That's why he's been so cool with the kid, because he's like, okay, you're the heir to like the kingdom, like you're really the one in power. Whoever sits at your side is in power too, type of thing, you know what I mean? Oh, Ivor, you smart little fucker. I have a message from King Olaf. He won't attack if you agree to meet him. <gasps> oh, that's so badass. It's like the, the crack of the neck, like... <laughs> So fucking badass, man. Some of you were shield maidens. You don't forget how to fight. Probably we fought together before the wars of Paris, if you can still remember. <laughs> of course, Lagatha. What's the deal with the hair? Now we all have to fight again. Ah, oh, it looks more like a crown. Lagatha, it doesn't matter what we do. We can't beat the bandits. You know that. We will all die. Yes, we will all die. It's not necessarily when a bandit attack us. So, see, I I don't get why she's not sending word back to Kataka and asking for help. You know, even if it's just a few men, you know, a few like warriors to come and help. Like we three are strangely brought together again. Fate works in mysterious ways. The gnomes weave it. And so we believe it. Skull! Hmm. <clears throat> Beyond in the drink is. Maybe thinks it's poisoned or something. <laughs> you know, perhaps everything is a dream. But the real mystery is that now both of you are my prisoners. What? It is through Beyond Ironside you still have an army, but your army. I believe is not strong enough now to defeat me. If our armies do fight again, whatever the outcome, you will be seriously weakened. In which case, you will find it hard to keep hold of this new kingdom as well as your old. Yep. Either way, you won't win. I will reflect more on that matter and um, how to resolve our differences. In the meantime, King Harold, sadly, must return to your prison and you to your camp where you will remain surrounded. But I will arrange to have food brought to you. He's gonna, yep. I was thinking that, man. He needs it more than Bjorn, you know what I mean, the drink? Because you are Viking. The son and daughter of great warriors. I'm not afraid. If they attack, I want to make my mother and father proud of them. <laughs> Don't think like that, Kate. You're too young. And you. <laughs> oh, I've got such a bad feeling about this one. I can see, like, something happening and, and the kid rushing in to, like, defend Lagatha or, or defend his sister. Something, you know what I mean? I want you to lead a trade delegation to the east. You will travel along the ancient Silk Road, making trade deals and contacts all the way. I'm trying to help you. I know, I know. You can feather. I won't disappoint you. Believe me. Come on. Oh man, he needs to get his head in the game, man. Like I said, it's <clears throat> now we have time, Chateau. Time, time for you to tell me what really happened in Iceland between Floki and the settlers. I want the whole story, <laughs> the truth. <laughs> in the end, I killed Dave and all of his family. Hmm? But he's being honest. After all, I am a Viking. It was a matter of honor. Floki was a dreamer. He would have felt crushed by the destruction of his dream for which you and Avon were responsible. Mm -hmm. But still, I can't just accept that Floki walked away. Surely someone killed him and hid the body. No, Bjorn. I had nothing to do with Floki's disappearance. He's, he's telling the truth. 
You better pray to the gods that one day Floki returns to verify your story. Because up until that day, you, a man capable of slaughtering an entire family, will to me forever stand accused of his murder. <laughs> Shit. Each must die someday. Even you, Bjorn Ironside. Get the fuck out of here, man. You ain't gonna kill Bjorn. No fucking way. Fuck you and your flat nose, man. You ain't gonna kill Jack shit. <laughs> shit, that looks real, man. <laughs> I tried to give you a chance. I don't think he meant to disappoint you. He can't help it. Ooh. You will have to leave without him. Appoint the leader among yourselves. Ragnar vibes, man. Right, picture like Ragnar and, and Auslog just then in that scene, and Auslog saying, like, I don't think he meant to, you know, and Ragnar, like. <laughs> I, I just can't see where his storyline could go. Apart from maybe like either turning up and him just going after him. You think it is your fate. I know your fate, brother. Oh. Your fate is to be killed by me. I like that. Just out of focus, but it's there. Like Maybe he needs to hit rock bottom before he can really climb his way back up. You know what I mean? Prince Oleg is asking for you. Ivor could be playing a very dangerous game here. And he smiles. Ooh. You can be very useful to me. You're a son of Ragnar Lothbrok. No one can question your legitimacy to rule when I place you upon the throne. Oh, so then I will be your puppet ruler. Huh? Don't mess with me, Ivor the Bones. I'm offering you far more than you're worth. You forget something. What? I'm a god. Descendant of Odin. You are not a god. You are not a god in my path. This wife was no saint. She was a whore. I told you you can be useful. That should be enough for you. But don't ever betray me. I'll stuff your boneless body in the casket with my wife. Ooh. But I believe with all my heart. You are descended from Odin. And it makes me love you. I like this. I like this. But can I just say, that scene was lit perfect. The lighting on Ivor was, oh, you could tell they they really tried hard to make it look fucking amazing, man, with the light coming through the window and, oh. It is time to elect and anoint a king for all Norway. <sighs> Wasn't this in the trailer? And what better man than you? Your on hindsight. Your on hindsight. Wow. Eldest son of the great <clears throat> Ragnar Lothbrok. Of course, all the kings, queens, jarls, and petty earls would have to be summoned to approve the plan. But once they do, I swear to you, I will relinquish all my kingdoms, all my power, to the new well. savior. And how how is he going to feel about this now? Because he wanted to be king of all Norway. Or was he going to be uh, like okay with it and let Bjorn take over? Then he's going to try and overthrow Bjorn. Like, go on, kids. See, now was this the battle from from, from the trailer where Lagerfeld says fight? Because up to now, like, 
I thought it was like in the battle when Ivor turns up. You know what I mean? But it could be this. Ship made it! Fight! There's nothing to fear! From either bandits! Or death! Get out now! Stop the attack! Get out! Get out now! See, Lagerford knows now who, who they are, okay? They're not just random bandits, okay? No. Get back! What the fuck, man? Poor Lily. I don't know if I did enough. I'm sorry. You have nothing to be sorry for. You have been so brave. Am I dying, Lagerta? You've been more than brave. You are dying, Ali. But the gods are here. I'm not good with kids, man. He saw how brave you were. I hope so. You will be a special person. You will be special because your father is Bjorn Ironside and because you I've been so brave. Holly. That's so fucked up, man. I hate being right sometimes, man. I really do. <laughs> Why is she having visions? It's a bit weird how, like, I said earlier about how, like, she was, like, Auslug and, and Bjorn was, like, Ragnar and now she's having visions like Auslug did. <laughs> okay, that was a bit weird. Like, only thing I can think of is, it's like, one of Bjorn's children has just died and she's also pregnant with Bjorn's child. Maybe there's, like, a connection there, like... I don't care too much about the castles. I would just like the chance to overthrow Prince Oleg. What? Oh my god, what is Ivor doing, man? What is it? I'm so in, like, intrigued with his like, fucking storyline at the minute. I'm sure Upe is right. It is not like this village. I just need Give to this to Hale and Osa. Tell them I love them. Of course they will. Then we must go. Man, Gunhill looks pretty badass, man. <laughs> oh shit. See, Lagatha needs help, and that could be Gunhill and her people, you know what I mean? We agreed to your plan. Send word out to all the kings and the earth together here. To elect Bjorn Ironside, king of all Norway. I already have! <laughs> I just quickly end like that. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, man. I just knew it, though. I knew the way that they were setting up the kids and everything. Like, <sighs> like anyone who's been watching my channel now for a while would know that I'm not really good when it comes to kids in danger or in pain or something. Like, <sighs> <laughs> I don't have any kids myself. But I've got a shit ton of nieces and nephews. And um, I, I always kind of like develop this like big brother, uncle type of feeling where I want to just look after them and make sure they're okay. You know what I mean? So, so to see like kids die, especially like that, kills me, man. But now that Lagatha knows who the bandits are, and most importantly who the person was who killed Bjorn's son, was the same guy that Bjorn just banished. Like I said in the, or like the very first episode, Bjorn's going to regret it because it was a bad choice. Bjorn made a bad call, basically. His first real decision as king was wrong. Like, he's a great warrior, amazing warrior on the battlefield, but that don't necessarily make you a great king, you know? And, and now he's like going to be king of all Norway, like... I don't know. But this is definitely going to come back onto him.
I can see it happening. I still don't know really what to make of uh, King Olaf. Like, if this is really his agenda to put Bjorn Ironside into the throne, or does he have his own agenda behind it, you know what I mean? But then at the same time, how is um, Howard Finehair okay with it? Like I said, like, is he going to be, like, willing to let Bjorn take over as King of All Norway and then take out Bjorn? But Bjorn also has to watch out for fucking Flat Nose, who, like, like I said, he weren't necessarily lying. He was telling the truth. But, like, don't even think twice about trying to kill Bjorn because it's only going to end bad for you, man. <laughs> it's only going to end up bad. As far as, like, Fitzuk, what else can I say that I didn't say earlier? Like, he needs to he needs to get his head back in the game. He needs to focus. I get where Uber was, like, coming from about trying to give him, like, responsibility and, like, something to do. But I think he needs somebody with him to kind of help him, like, to get strong and, and get on his feet. And, and like, if, if Fixup really wants to get revenge against Ivor, then he needs to start getting focused on that get prepared, get, like, start training, like, get ready for it, because one day you could come face to face with Ivor again, like, you want to, you know, be in the right type of shape to do it, you know, that's more better, like, motivation than just, I want you to go away and trade, you know, but like I said, maybe, maybe he needs to hit rock bottom for him to come back, maybe he's just going to carry on this slippery slope and kind of get to the point where he might want to die, you know, like, he might try to take his own life. But maybe, like, that will be kind of, like, the moment where he starts coming back. But I'm not too sure because in in the trailer, like, clip teaser thing that that we saw where it looked like he was hanging upside down and he had a cut over his cheek, his eyes were still kind of, like, bloodshot red like they are now. So I don't think we're going to get that story arc with him. So I, I can't really see where that storyline's going. I just feel for him because I, I like Fitzek, but... Oh, man. Um, as far as Ivor and Oleg and, and everything, I am so intrigued with that storyline. Like I said, Ivor's playing a very dangerous game. And, and, and now that he's saying that he just wants a chance to overthrow Oleg, like... It's like, what have you got planned, man? <laughs> what are you doing? Like, it was kind of obvious, like, the way that he's kind of befriending the kid. I always thought the kid knew that he was the heir to the throne and, and, he, and, and, and he was more or less in charge. But I guess not. I guess the kid doesn't know that. But I sees it very obviously. Like, whoever's, like, whoever's close to the heir to the throne is more or less in charge. So he's getting close to the kid. He's befriending him, making the kid realise that he's actually the one in power. And that Oleg is actually betraying him. Like, oh my God. Because, like, Ivor said it himself. that He, he doesn't want to, like, sit on a throne as, as, like, a puppet king. You know what I mean? Like, does he really just want to take over? Like, or does he want to... Hmm, like, does he want to control the forces that invades Kattegat or, or what? Like, hmm, I don't know, but, I, like I said, I am so intrigued. And, and Ivor's overall plan and agenda but once again we're, we're kind of at a point now where we have to wait another fucking week um i hate this man really do okay i'm gonna wrap this up try and get this up for you guys today um no friday uploads this is gonna go up thursday night hopefully christmas is coming up next week um vikings isn't gonna be going up until the weekend uh because you know of course Christmas and everything. I'm not going to be able to really film my, my reaction to next week's episode until like the Saturday or the Sunday. So yeah, I just thought I'd kind of give you guys a heads up about that for next week. So yeah, man. Until then, I really hope you all have a Merry Christmas and a Happy Yule. Whatever you celebrate, I really hope you have a great one. Have a few drinks because <laughs> you know I'm going to be. <laughs> Alright man, give this video a thumb up if you like it, comment down below, let me know what you think, and subscribe if you haven't already man, alright? I've been Sifurian, I'll catch you in the next one man.